what up gang if you saw last week's video we got the mahi mahi and the boat got destroyed so we got this gash to where the hook entered and then it ripped up uh less than two inches i don't have to do an inside repair but i'm going to try it's kind of hard to do the inside patch but we'll give it a shot what i am using is to clean acetone to prep your surface and the boat came with the patch kit with single part but i picked up this polymarine made for pvc inflatables two part uh might have to try to find a scale because we're working with so small increments the mix ratio is 25 to 1 and if you've ever worked with mixing ratios, if it's not one to one or two to one, or even four to one, 25 to one is pretty hard to judge. So I might actually get a scale, a cooking scale to weigh it out. Let's see how this process goes. It's gonna be a little slow process. So clean the surface with acetone, let it sit, clean the surface again for 10 minutes sit and then you can start applying the glue and then you let the glue sit reapply another layer let it sit and then while it's still tacky you apply the patch and then put a lot of pressure and roll it make sure no bubbles so here's some of the patch material i work with so the inside one doesn't have to be as big and it can't be big to get it in so this is the size for my inside patch. This is scrap. And this is going to be the outside patch. This kit came with it. And here's the generic glue it came with. This is the one part glue. And a few rubber patches, extra valves, uh, the tool to remove the valves that came with my boat from West Marine. All right, I'll be back. I'm doing the acetone now, and then we're going to do the inside patch. All right. All right, so I got a measuring cup. So it's 25 to 1, so I'm just going to do 25 milliliter to 1 milliliter, which is still ridiculously small for part B, the hardener. Also, once you put the patch on, you want to get a... A roller I have a screen door roller if you have a any kind of roller like this so you can get out all the metal bubbles put a lot of pressure uh, you can also use like a fiberglass roller if you have one so make sure you stir it up even though it's a two-part stuff you never know if there's certain ingredients that settle so I just stirred it real good And to do the inside patch without it hopefully sticking instantly where I don't want it, I'm going to put this thin plastic over top of the glue, stick the patch in there, line it up, and then pull that off, hopefully. That's my plan. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to mix this up. All right, so... I got to 20 minutes of the glue drying. I put this plastic on this piece. I'm hoping I, it'll make it easier. Definitely helps if you have two people. I think as soon as it touches, it's going to try to secure.
It worked really good. It was perfectly in place. And when you're done, acetone, clean it has a 48 hour cure time so two days to dry and they say maximum cure seven days actually and make sure you don't glue it together when you're using pushing it on itself like I was make sure no excess glue glues the boat to itself or then you're really screwed All right, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, clean it up, and then I'm come back when I do the outside patch. And we're almost there, halfway. So I didn't show you what the other one. Take uh, anything you have, even an emery cloth, make it rough, and then I like to make the edges smooth, so it tapers down, kind of feather the edge. That way you have less chance of it peeling off when you're riding on the water. And you're just gonna take this or whatever you have, kind of go over the whole thing, make it rough and you do it on this and the boat. It helps the glue it here. But I just wanted to show you that step. All right, we got the inside patch done. Now I'm doing the outside patch. Got a hair on there. So I'm applying the first layer of thin glue. And then I'll put it on the patch and the boat. And then you wait. Apply another layer and put it on with pressure. The biggest key is direct pressure once you put them on. Uh, we're doing the final coat and then apply it. While wow, it's still tacky for the last and final. The hair over there. And just brush hair. Might be staying. What a hell.
Okay, I waited four days. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if it is leaking. Look good. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you pop your boat, getting fish, and this is how you repair your boat. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope we get hooked up on the next one. Uh, hopefully next video we'll be revealing the new boat, new big boat. And I hear starting to roll in. Alright, aloha. Also, while I'm doing it, not paid or anything for it, but here's some uh, UV protective spray I use. It's like wax for rubber, basically. Protects it from the sun. Does not protect it from giant hooks going through the side of the boat, but for some protection, this stuff's great. You can get it on Amazon or whatever. All right, see you on the next one. Like and subscribe, hook us up. Next big boat's coming out next video, I think. Uh, or we're taking this out this weekend again. All right, aloha.